from the beginning I felt I want to help people somehow and I wanted to save people's lives. Maybe I thought, oh, I can be a medical doctor, but I decided, like, I started seeing in TV shows about prosthetics and building a bionic man. So I decided to become an engineer just because I didn't really like blood. And I can say it's like, it's always about like thinking, like, am I doing this for the right reasons? Am I doing it just for a title? Or am I doing this just for, because I really want to create something new and I want to help somehow science evolve and, and get new things going. I have the dream to, to see devices that can be implanted in people, that can help in my, in my personal case, help people uh, overcome heart attacks. That's what I did for five years during my PhD. And I think that in particular for me coming to Intel, I can make every day a device that I know it's gonna go into a servers or it's gonna go into a, a device that's gonna be help like solve medical problems somehow or just for people to talk on their phones, communicate better. So I think that's what I say because I think that our so many things that can be done and we just need to find creative people that can overcome obstacles, that like challenges, that love learning and that can deliver things that we need to change this very changing world. Is this part of your life? Because that's what it, it becomes for every engineer in the end. I mean, we all feel like we want to go into the details. We know we want to like take something, break it apart and know more. So is this really who you are? Because if you are this kind of person, you need to stay with it. So don't quit and stay with it.